Hey guys, it's TF Nut. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another action figure review. This time it's going to be of the Hasbro Marvel Legends series, Mindless One Build a Figure series, Luke Cage Power Man from the Marvel Knights release of recent Marvel Legends, at least I think like a few months ago. Very excited to finally have this one here. I am late to this review just because if you saw my review of the final suit Spider Man I did recently, you guys know that. Uh, Marvel Legends was really not a priority for the collection at all this year. I did want to get at least one more good Marvel Legends figure so I could do a proper top 10 Marvel Legends of 2023. Don't know if I'll be able to make a top 10 of 2024 just because I don't know if I'm going to be that interested in the line. However, one wave that they announced this year that I just haven't gotten around to getting and I want all the figures is the Marvel Knights wave. Not only because it's the return of the packaging that you see here that we had before the windowless boxes, which I'm very appreciative that Hasbro actually listened and brought this back. But this reminds me of 2017, which is one of my favorite waves, the Marvel Knights wave for that. And these figures from this Marvel Knights wave all look extremely solid. And the build a figure looks really cool too. So I wanted to get all of those, but it may take some time before I actually get all of them. You've been seeing a 360 of the patching for a little bit. Very cool, again, to see the return of the window boxes that I'm very much used to. If you look on the back here, this is a multilingual read-up. I'm gonna, I have an image here in case you just couldn't read it during the 360 portion. And then on the bottom here, I do have the barcode in case you need it. Here is Luke Cage out of the packaging. Yeah, I do really like this figure. There are some things about it though I think could be better overall. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that we'll take a closer look at the figure. So this is the left leg for the mindless one build a figure. I think that this actually looks fantastic. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to review the rest of these figures anytime soon because I'm in the middle of moving. Um, and I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to like build this and then review it. So I just do, I do want to show off the leg here. It, it's pretty nice. I like a lot of the cracks going on. There is a little bit of light brown paint going on here, a little bit of shading. Uh, it's not super consistent. There's like nothing on the background here or anything, but at least there's a little bit of effort, uh, effort here. And then actually on the bottom of the feet, there's really nice details too. So this is going to shape up to be a really nice looking build of figure, I think. Unfortunately with Marvel Legends, as of recently, you know, we have this at a $25 price point and we just only get like a pair of hands. Like there's just not much that we have with this figure. This is all we get. Maybe an alternate head would have been nice. I don't know what effects pieces we could have gotten, but like just maybe just a little bit more than just extra hands. That's how it is for some of these characters. Some of these characters at $25 don't come with anything like sometimes. Like I think Speedball didn't come with anything, which is kind of insane. Uh, but yeah, we've gotten these hands plenty of times before. I think these might be the MCU Doctor Strange hands, and then they got reused for a lot of different characters. I do want to show off an image of what Luke Cage here looks like with the uh, alternate hands here. I'm not going to be taking a crazy amount of photos at the end because I, again, I, in the middle of moving, I got a lot going on. So this is all you get, unfortunately. What better way to spend Christmas Eve than to review the guy whose catchphrase is sweet Christmas, am I right? Anyway, this is an extremely nicely done head sculpt I want to talk about first. I can't remember who made this, if it was Paul Harding or somebody else, but it's not just the face printing on these faces that is making these look good. The sculpt work on these head sculpts is getting better and better. They all, like this one here looks really good. A few others in the past uh, like year or so that I can't think off the top of my head have also been extremely well done. So that's something I think Marvel Legends is still doing really nice. I wish that the hair was a little bit more detailed, but what we do have going on here is extremely well done. Maybe a little bit of paint work could also be nice too. Uh, it's just kind of molded in one color. We do also have a silver headband. The paint work on here is really nice. Although I don't know if this is how it's gonna be on everyone's or just mine. I don't know if this is somehow a separate piece. Headband looks like it's a little bit off centered. Uh, I don't know, it's a little weird looking. But the silver, again, is really clean. And then again, the face printing on there, all that detailing and sculpt work, it is really well done. Now, I do want to say, it this uh, skin tone is a little inconsistent, I think. If you look at the head and then you look at his bare chest, I do think it's a little bit more pale somehow or like a little bit faded in the chest compared to... His face so that's a little strange to me it's not as noticeable in person as it is in the viewfinder it's just how it kind of usually is it could be the lighting too but 
I don't know. That's kind of weird to me, if you ask me. There really isn't much else in terms of paintwork going on in here. It's a lot. Of, you guys are familiar with Marvel Legends. A lot of what's going on is molded in these colors. They're not the only company to do it like this, of course, but, you know, we get what's going on with Marvel Legends. I might need to turn down the brightness a little bit so you can see what's going on in the arms here. I don't have other Marvel Legends right now to compare this with because I am in the middle of uh, moving, like I keep saying. Um, I want to say if they haven't retooled these or if these are not, you know, brand new arms, I think these are from the Dormammu and Red Skull from 2021 that have been reused a couple times. And I say that because we'll talk about the detailing on the fists in a second, but this is actually kind of difficult to pop out. The um, This cuff piece here is a separate piece, and yeah, it's really hard for me to take it out right now. I took it out earlier, so I guess take my word for it, but... This piece does remove and then it does reveal, you know, like a yellow piece that's pretty thin for cuffs like that. And that is how Dormammu and Red Skull are as well. So that's what makes me think it. Uh, a lot of people could be like, no, duh. You know, these are definitely those arms. But I just can't tell because they look a little thicker. You know, they look a little bit more big. I think the other ones were a little bit skinnier. Uh, but I could be wrong. This also has the... Um, pinless tech on here and those also had pinless tech so that's what makes me think it too now when it comes to pinless tech sometimes the actual elbow is a lot more of a lighter color than like the forearm or the bicep in person once again you could kind of see it a little bit in the viewfinder but you gotta look really hard to see a difference in color they did a really good job of color matching all of this i do have a black spec it's actually not super noticeable, but you can, you know, once I focus up, you do see it right there. There's a black speck on the back of the arm. It's a little distracting. The actual, like, sculpt work in the chest, though, that's pretty sick. You know, we do have a lot of this covered by this soft plastic shirt, which is actually kind of a hard, it's not a super soft plastic. It gets in the way a lot. But you do have some really nice sculpt work going on in there, I think back of this shirt i don't know if this has been i think this is entire shirt piece is new um but there is some wrinkling going on but again really no paint the chain around his waist though this is a separate piece it moves around a little bit and I, you know you do see right there there should be a hole where there's just a bunch of plastic right there um i, I guess there's some limitations to how it's injected when they make the cast or whatever uh, but i do want to say the silver is really nicely done i think this is actually molded in this color so let's back out a little bit you know i don't think the silver on this figure is that inconsistent you can tell a little bit more that i guess i'll have to because the cuffs here are definitely molded in silver however you know this is definitely painted that's molded it's pretty consistent, actually. Sometimes it's not. And I think that's actually really cool. I forgot to show off the hands. These hands, we've gotten plenty of fists like these before. My opinion is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, the fists are very serviceable here. <clears throat> okay, let's keep going. I do think that the... Le I actually don't know whose legs these are. If these are brand new or from another character. But these are really nice looking legs. They're just molded in this one black tone, though. It's slightly glossy, a little bit matte as well. Uh, there are some nice wrinkles like on his backside there and around towards the back of the uh, legs underneath the uh, double joints. And then you get like some nice muscles going on in there as well as wrinkles in the knees. You know, very basic stuff with Marvel Legends. Pinless tech. The boots here are really glossy. <laughs> very like they're to the point where they're a little too plastic. Yeah, I know it's an action figure, but just looks a little too glossy. They don't look bad, though. I think the feet are reused from different characters. I can't tell right now, but I have not seen these boots before. Again, the, the whole lower torso here could be brand new, and then they have these new boot pieces. Uh, I would have half expected them to use like a classic, almost like a classic Captain America, not exactly uh, classic Captain America boots, but along those lines. But I think these are new. A little bit of wrinkling around, like... These cuff pieces here, but it's just molded in this yellow tone. That's what the bottom looks like. So, you know, Marvel Legends does what it does with these figures, where it, it mostly, like, casts... They, of course, they use paint, but it's mostly casting these parts. They're reusing parts. 
but the reuse here, if there is reuse, is rather nice. And there is a lot new, uh, new going on in this figure. Uh, it, a lot of this is just really nice looking when it all comes together. Now articulation was an area that people were concerned about when this figure got announced. Let's take a look at it though. Head can go up this far and down like that. Very, you know, swivel here, very standard stuff. You get a little bit of rocking going on here. This is you now before, you know, the double ball peg that we have. Arms can go out like this, a little bit tight on my shoulders. Then they can go all the way around here. Upper arm swivel. Now, double joint elbow bends pretty well. We also do have swivel at the wrist here. And then a hinge that far back. That forward forward, I think these hands will have a better range of motion. I could be wrong. The cuffs might be in the way. Now, this is the area people were concerned about. We knew for a while that this was going to be a ball joint, no kind of crunching whatsoever. So swivel here, it feels a little tight, but it is actually quite smooth and works pretty well. You do get a little bit of side to side here as well. Now this is the far back. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then that's far forward. Yeah, that's not, not very good. Uh, legs can go out that far. Do they have a little bit drop down? Not really, I don't think so. I could be wrong. Out like that, not a perfect split, uh, split but still pretty good. Upper thigh swivel here. You also have the double jointed knee. There should be a boot rotation, I feel like, because this is a separate piece from this, but there is just, it's just none. Unless it mines are super tight, there is none. Legs, or the feet can go down like this, actually really nice. Up really nice too, and then ankle rocker. So even though I'm still packing out a couple figures laying around, we are looking pretty close to 17 centimet uh, centimeters, excuse me. That's gonna put this around six and three quarter inches. So as you can see with Spider-Man, it's gonna be a little bit taller, as he should be, and he's going to be much taller than a standard size Black Series figure. Overall, I may have been a bit of a Grinch about Marvel Legends this year, but this is a particularly good figure. It's not perfect, unfortunately. I'll get the uh, minor complaints out of the way. The skin tone is pretty inconsistent. I don't know what's going on there. But we also have just a bit of a lack of paint throughout the whole figure, if you ask me. Uh, it, the paint in the head is especially fantastic, I'll say that. But like, I think there could have been a little bit better shading throughout the whole figure. Because some parts, while it's, the sculpting is good, looks a little plain. Only one extra set of hands. I know he doesn't do much besides fight. But I feel like they could have figured something out to give us just a little bit more stuff. And... I do think the biggest complaint people are going to have, of course, is going to be the torso articulation. I don't think it's very good, unfortunately. Uh, forward and back is not great. Definitely not great. But the side-to-side -side motion and then, you know, rocking from left to right is actually not too bad. The rest of the good things about this figure are that it looks, everything looks fantastic. And this definitely looks like a classic Luke Cage Power Man. The reuse here, where there's not that much, is appropriate. And there's a lot of new going on with this particular figure. The rest of the articulation, while it may be stiff in some areas, like in the shoulders, is really great. And it's just a really nice looking piece. A lot of us have been needing some form of Luke Cage in Marvel Legends form that isn't some kind of an exclusive, which is insane to me that it's taken this long to finally get a retail one. Uh, but I do think that they nailed it out of the park with this one here. I just think that there are a couple things that could have been better. But this is a $25 figure. I'll leave links in the description below where you can get this. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below what you think about the figure, what you think about the review. Unless I get SH Figure Arts, Aoi Toto, and Casual Yore before the end of the year, this is my cutoff for reviews before I do my top 10 list. So thank you guys for a great year and Merry Christmas.